ICQB Foundation Level version 43. In the debugging process, what is the purpose of the diagnosis step? A. To reproduce the failure in the test environment. B. To confirm that the defects have been resolved. C. To find the root cause of the failure identified during dynamic testing. D. To check whether the fixes are causing failures in the other parts of the test object. Please press pause to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is C. To find the root cause of the failure identified during dynamic testing. According to definition of debugging in ICQB syllabus. And knowledge of some other definitions, such as regression and confirmation testing. Let's see why the other answers are wrong. Answer A is incorrect in connection with reproducing the theory in the test environment is part of debugging activity and not a purpose of diagnosis step. Answer B is incorrect in connection with confirmation that the defects have been resolved is confirmation testing and, of course, not a purpose of the diagnosis step of debugging process. Answer D is incorrect in connection with checking whether the fixes are causing failures in other parts of the test object is regression testing. And of course, not a purpose of the diagnosis step of debugging process. My recommendation. You should definitely understand and remember differences between debugging, confirmation testing, and regression testing. Remember these two terms. Confirmation testing is retesting to check if the bug or failure has been fixed. And also, regression testing is testing other areas to see if they work properly as a result of the changes made to the code. Explanation However, let's look at the section 1.1.2 Testing and Debugging in the ICQB syllabus. We can see that debugging involves reproduction of a failure, diagnosis or finding the root cause, fixing the cause. As all we see, finding the root cause is the same as a diagnosis that leads us to the correct answer C. Also, we can see all the other wrong answers marked with red lines and characters A, B and D. I am sincerely sure that you will pass the ICKB Certified Tester Foundation Level exam. If you thoroughly figure out with all the definitions in the ICQB glossary and ICQB syllabus of this course, please watch through all the videos on my YouTube channel. And once you dream, will come true. Never give up.